Alright, what is up guys? Today I'm going to show you five ways to monitor your current PC stats. Now what I mean by that is what your CPU is running at, uh, how fast your video card is running at, what your motherboard's doing, and all those types of things. Now these are the five ways that you can monitor those. Okay, one is Windows gadgets, CPU, and network. Now these, that is these two things. As you can see I have my CPU meter up top. It tells me how much RAM my computer is using and how much all four of my cores are running. Underneath that, I have my network meter, which tells me my internal IP address, as well as my external IP address and how much traffic is on my network. That is one very useful way to monitor what my computer is doing. I use that every day. I look at it all the time. So that's just uh, right there in front of my face to let me know at all times what my CPUs are doing. Okay, next is CPU-Z. Now, this is a very good program. Um, I have a review on it on my channel that you can also check out and uh, this will tell you all about everything about your processors, uh, your RAM, your motherboard, memory, everything. Um, so right now this is where it tells you about your CPU and how fast it's running and your core speeds and whatnot. You can watch the full tutorial on this program to learn more. This is your motherboard and so forth. This is another great way to monitor what your computer is doing right now at this minute. Okay, moving right along. Next would be MSI Afterburner. Now this is a uh, also a monitoring program that uh, tells you more or less about your uh, let's see say your GPU and video cards um, now this is what it tells you what your core voltage is and what it's running at and what uh, your um, vid uh, graphics cards are running at and everything and this is another great way to see what your graphics cards are doing and what your computer is currently doing again as you can see it says CPU usage 1, CPU usage 2, CPU 1 core clock and CPU 2 core clock as you can go down it has more CPU core clocks and more information for you to learn next would be AMD Overdrive now this is a program that specifically overclocks your graphics card for you and I'm going to go ahead and show you this um, AMD Overdrive. Hmm, it's not showing up. Okay, well, AMD Overdrive is not showing up, so I'm just going to start up my rocket dock, or excuse me, my object dock, and pull it up through that. So this is the AMD Overdrive. It's going to come up, and it's going to have all these different stats on my GPU and CPU and what it's doing and everything. And this is it right here. As you can see, it says CPU stats. This tells me all about my CPU. GPU stats and core clock voltage and everything. This is where you can overclock your graphics card, your graphics card and everything. Another great way to see what your computer is doing. Now, next would be your task manager now this is something that probably all of you know about but I'm sure there's some people out there who don't know about this in order to pull up your task manager I have it pinned to my taskbar but you can do this you hit control alt delete select task manager and this is it right here now you can come to processes and services tab and see what's running on your computer as well as your applications tab and see what you have running and then you can come to performance and this is where all your CPU history and uh, memory um, stats and everything is located this is another great way to see what your computer is doing right now at this moment now this is uh, just one of many ways that you can monitor your um, computer and what it's doing there are many different programs out there that do it for you but these are just five ways that I compiled just to uh, show you guys the easiest ways to um, uh, pretty much monitor your computer. Now if you want any of the download links about the programs I talked about in this video, I'm pretty sure I have videos on them in the past like AMD Overdrive, MSI Afterburner, and CPU-Z. Um, any other questions just feel free to drop a comment and ask me and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And uh, thanks for watching guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Later.